start that to recognize uh, deserving people in our county on that wall and uh, not name the people serving. How does anybody feel about that? Anybody has any comment? Pro or negative on that yet? idea? And not only to recognize Murph, but a lot of other deserving people. I'm not going to ask you to do that. Right, I, I think the consensus, you know, we want to do something. I mean, that's what the motion was made that, you know, whenever he read it was to do a dedication. I think Mr. Everett would be a wonderful person. Well, to I, do dedication. you know, I, I know that the school board is just set a And best I can tell, if y'all were sitting on the school board, there would not be a pause on the table. You know, I, you know I'm no hard feelings for it, y'all. I know why the thing is there. I know why they're there. I can they second that too. I can second that. Great. <clears throat> Sir. In, in the uh, discussion, who, uh, the whole complex out there of land, was that purchased with uh, drug money? No. From the sheriff's office? That land was purchased. I know some of it was. That land was purchased originally when seven of us went to Tri-County Bank and borrowed the money. All of that acreage out there? Or 10 acres out there. The, or the green out there. The 10 acres. <coughs> I was one of them that went and signed the note to Tri-County Bank to get the money to buy that land. We made payments on it for two or three years. And after we had made a number of payments on it, the drug money and the bill that Charles Williams tacked on to buy that to put up that building, finish paying for it, but not all that money was out of the drug money. We Greg, made payments on that. Greg, I don't think anybody on this board, Greg, I don't think anybody on this board is disagreeing that Murph was a big part of it. <coughs> I, I, I call it Murph, okay? Because I haven't worked on it too. I'm not as old as, as the gentleman before, but when I knew Mr. Everett, Murph, I, I was his uh, uh, counterpart. I worked in Brantford, he worked in Trent. 
I don't think anybody sitting on this board is saying that Mr. Edward wasn't instrumental in, in acquiring the land and getting the building. But you're talking about we're, we're setting a precedent. The school board, you know, they named uh, an auditorium for Ms. Roberts, and, and rightfully so, they have that authority. And, and they just named the, the Trenton baseball team for a family you know, that was instrumental in Trenton in, in the baseball program. But they had committees that were designed to come up with that thing. And we had a committee, okay? And I'm not saying I wasn't sitting on the board because whatever's done in the past is board policy and I represent it. And, you know, I can change it if I, if, if I feel, if I get enough votes, but I'm telling you right now, there was a committee set up, names were submitted, individual names, not only Mr. Everest, but other names were submitted, and they came up, the board came up with Gilchrist County Agricultural Complex. Okay? You say, or some people say, that the arena is different from the complex. The arena is the complex. Okay? That is the complex. So if you're going to change the name of the arena to J.M. Murph Everett Arena, you might as well change the name of the complex because the arena is the complex. There's no, there's not a bunch of buildings out there. Okay. No, there's no that too. Uh, a concession stand in an arena. Absolutely right. At some point in time, the original plan of that was to put stalls and all kinds of other things out there. And, uh, and a pioneer village out there. That was some of the original plan. But whenever, whoever it was that uh, took over the board of directors after I left from there, decided to give it to the council. And I knew. When that happened, that we were no longer the ones that would have originally been involved in getting that thing started, we would no longer have any say so. And we have not. We have not had any say so. And, uh, you know, that, it, it don't make any difference to me. I, I've done what I could for Mr. Every, and uh, he was one of the most unselfish people I have ever come in contact with in my life. That's right, and, and it makes a difference to me because let me tell you, just like Tripp said, without Mr. Everett, he probably be, wouldn't be where he is. Without Mr. Everett, I probably wouldn't be where I am. You know, maybe not sitting here, but in my ag teaching, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done half the things I did, or probably wouldn't even been an ag teacher without him. So I'm, I'm you know, nobody in this room can say. You know, or, or think more of Mr. Everett than I do. Well, it, it, you know, 